Hey, well, this is Max from Zetomax.com. Today, today I'm going to show you how to make Thai uh, sweet and uh, sour sauce. Well, not as sweet and sour, but it's Thai spicy sauce. Anyway, so first, you'll need uh, some Thai chili, some garlic, and about three limes. Uh, you can use less Thai chili if you want to make it hotter. And also, you know, three, three garlic's fine. So first, we're going to cut up the garlic real quick. So do that. And by the way, this knife works really great. The Chinese style knife. And then we're going to cut it up to small pieces. As you can see. So we're going to cut it up. Get it all nicely cut. And we're going to do the same thing with the chili too. So this one will just slice it. If you want it super spicy, you'll want to cut it into really thin spicy, uh, really thin pieces. That's what I'm doing because I like it really spicy. And also, you don't get that large chunks of pepper, so it's better on your stomach if you make it super uh, thin. It makes it taste uh, spicy while it doesn't hurt your stomach. So that's why you want to cut it up into the smallest pieces possible, and then. Um, Keep doing this. This uh, knife is great, the Chinese knife, because uh, butcher knife. So you can cut it into really small pieces really quickly. Yeah, I've been making this Thai spicy sauce for about six months now, so I'm not, you know, I'm not the best cook in the world, but I know how to make this thing pretty good. Cause my girlfriend's also Thai, so she's been teaching me the secrets. And I also have Thai friends who work at Thai restaurants. They um, they know authentic Thai food really well. They're Thai. So this is pretty good. See? Do a close up, Josh. Okay. Very, very thin. You can put it in here. Put it in there. Get all of this in there. Your little thing. And let me cut this garlic up one more time. And garlic is really good for you. It's supposed to uh, you know, prevent cancer and, you know, you know how they have garlic pills, but the sauce, you can put it on fish, beef, or anything, or even just rice, and, uh, you know, it's almost done, so, get into the smallest pieces as possible, it adds more flavor, so, that's about done, so, see, and you can use a grinder, but I like the old-fashioned way. And next, you're going to need to squeeze the limes. So for the limes, cut it in fourth. Cut it once, cut it another time, it's because it's easier to sque squeeze. And also when you squeeze the lime, you don't want to um, you don't want to squeeze it too hard, then all the bitterness comes off the lime. That's why you want to cut it into four pieces. That way it's easier to uh, squeeze. And the lime is actually the most important part. Depending on what kind of lime you get, the sauce can be bitter or it can be super sweet. But I always try to pick the lime that's a little bit soft and has green. Anyways, so we're gonna next put the uh, lime, squeeze it. Just squeeze it once, don't squeeze it more than that. That's done. And keep doing it. You know, you don't want to squeeze too hard after the, all the juice is out because it will cause uh, bitterness in your sauce. And also, there's seeds that can come out. You don't want that, so just squeeze once and you'll get enough lime out of it. Just make sure you pick fresh, you know, limes that are pretty... I don't know, I, I prefer green. I found that they're actually more sweeter, but... If you're a lime expert, you might be better at it. Anyway, you can see more lime juice building up. And you always use the freshest lime. Don't use lime juice. You know, that's the secret part. The 90% of tasting good is the lime. Now you can see that there's about, uh, that's about good enough to uh, put on any kind of salmon, beef. Anyway, let me go wash my hands real quick. Stay there, guys. And, uh, 
Next is the part where we're going to mix the, uh, the sauce. Okay? Now it's going to start turning a little bit yellow. And you'll want to get the Tip Rose brand Thai sauce, you know, otherwise it won't taste the same. So we're going to put about three of these. One, two, three tablespoons first. And you can add more if you like more flavor, but three should be good enough. And then we're going to add some, we're going to add a bunch of sugar to make it rich, sugary and sweet. So put about, it's about one, uh, it's about two, put about three. I like it super sweet. Depending on how, how sweet you like it and also, you know, you can play with the mixture of the sugar and the Tipperose fish sauce. And then mix it about, mix around really well. And uh, the, the ideal taste you want to get with this uh, Thai spicy sauce, it's kind of sweet, very spicy, uh, yet it's not, you know, it's kind of, it's really good, you know. Anyway, if you ate a lot of th authentic Thai food, you know what I probably mean. So you gotta just shake it around until the sugar mixes in. Just take a little, little dip. came out really good. So that was about three of these, three, uh, three tablespoons of this, and the squeezing line part. Now you have really nice tasting uh, Thai sauce that you can use for steaks, uh, fish, anything. So that was how you make you know authentic Thai spice sauce. Thanks a lot. Thanks Josh. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. We can record the uh, beef part two. No, I'll edit it. Let me let me put the beef now. <laughs>